Hey guys, Titandega here. So recently, Gammon offered to give me the chance to try out one of their brand new drawing tablets. I have a fun drawing idea that I'd love to turn into a speed paint, and Gammon thinks that they have the best drawing tablet for the job. Specifically, we'll be looking at the Gammon PD1161, a surprisingly compact and capable drawing tablet. Will it be all I need to complete this artwork? I don't know, but I'm really excited to give it a spin, so let's get started. First things first though, what exactly is the PD-1161, and who is it even meant for? Simply put, you likely aren't going to find this tablet on the desk of an active professional artist or animator. This tablet is geared towards being compact, convenient, and easy to use. Tailored towards hobbyists and up-and-coming creators, and with a price tag of about 200 US dollars, the PD-1161 looks to be a promising first drawing tablet for an artist looking to jump into creating digital artwork, or a more experienced digital artist seeking to upgrade to a display tablet from a regular drawing tablet. With the small but respectable 11.5 inch work area, and seemingly all the bells and whistles that you could want in a display tablet, I'm excited to see if the PD-1161 actually lives up to the hype. So let's go ahead and take a look. And why not start with the tablet itself? Immediately, I noticed how lightweight and sturdy the design was. I could very nicely hold it in one hand and draw with the other, and I don't feel like I'm bending or breaking it in any way. The screen itself is surprisingly large, and while this is certainly one of the smaller display tablets on the market, it feels like there'll be plenty of space to get all that work done. Looking to the left on the tablet, there are 8 push buttons to make use of, which I personally feel is about as many as most people would truly require, and they feel excellent to use. They have a nice divot and follow through, so it's unlikely you'll be accidentally pressing a button when you didn't intend to. However, a small concern for me is how close the buttons are to one another. I could certainly see myself accidentally pressing two buttons at the same time if I wasn't being careful, so we'll need to keep an eye out on that for later. On to the pen! It's… okay. Not amazing, but certainly no slouch either. It's incredibly lightweight and battery free, so you'll never have to charge it or replace any batteries, which is always incredibly convenient, and it also comes with two programmable push buttons that feel really nice to use. The design itself though is a little… Uh, straightforward? It feels good in the hand, but it isn't as ergonomically designed as the offerings from other tablet manufacturers. That said, I'm completely nitpicking with this, and the pen should do you nicely and feel just fine. Oh, and the pen holder is nice and stylish too, although perhaps a little lightweight, and doesn't have a nice grip on the bottom to keep it in place on your desk. Again, a complete nitpick here, the cap does twist off easily to provide you with 8 extra pen nubs, which are totally handy. On top of that, we get a neat artist glove from Gammon. Now admittedly, it doesn't actually fit my hand all too well. However, I do have rather large hands, so I can certainly let that one slide. If you're of average size hands, this should fit like, well, a glove. But if you're like me, you may want to seek other glove options if you don't have one already. Oh, and this tablet connects to your PC or Mac using this 3-in-1 cable here, and it requires you to have an open HDMI and a USB Type-A port, as well as some power supply to plug it into. So now that we have all of that sorted, let's plug it in, turn it on, and see what it's like using the PD-1161. Turning on the tablet for the first time, I was certainly surprised and impressed with both the colors and the sharpness of the display. It's an 11.5 inch screen, but it has a 1080p aspect ratio. I have monitors that are several times larger than this display tablet with the same resolution that look fantastic, so seeing such a high resolution on a smaller screen like this is fantastic. Everything is super crisp and clear, which is exactly what you need for making digital art. And drawing on the tablet feels incredible too. The screen has a matte finish instead of glass, which means that there will be a slight amount of drag when the pen makes contact with the tablet's surface. This is usually good as it mimics drawing on paper. For the PD-1161, the pen doesn't seem to snag or create too much friction with the tablet's surface, so drawing on it feels great. The colors look great as well, unfortunately my camera cannot do it justice, and while at times they can appear ever so slightly faded or washed, honestly it would be hard to detect even with the keenest of eyes. They don't blow me away, but the colors certainly do not disappoint, and it's more than enough to make your art truly come alive. 
Oh, and the software for the tablet was easy to download off of the Gammon website, and after a couple of clicks and a quick installation, it was ready to go. No fuss, no muss. The software allowed me to easily change the configuration of the press buttons and the pen buttons, so I could set things like undo and redo, all from the simple push of a button. It was good and a satisfactory user experience. Alright, so it's been a little bit since I've gotten the tablet itself, and after drawing with it for a couple of weeks, I have to say... I'm extremely impressed! I admittedly wasn't a big fan of this small screen display, but honestly it's really growing on me. It isn't difficult to use in art programs, and I feel like I've been able to work well with it rather nicely. Now, one thing that has been bugging me a bit though is the tendency for the mouse cursor to drift away from the stylus position, as you point the pen near the edges of the display. Now, I've tried to recalibrate the screen numerous times, update and reinstall the drivers, and even play with the resolution scale settings in Windows, and it just seems to be one of those issues that won't go away. Now, honestly, the misalignment at the edges of the screen is, frankly, small and in most cases you won't even notice, but I found myself accidentally missing the scroll bars in Paint Tool SAI, drawing marks on the canvas when instead I wanted to scroll. This problem is further compounded by the fact that the screen is small, meaning the buttons are smaller and require more precise actions to hit. Still, this was an uncommon issue for me, but I figured I should mention it. And despite that smaller screen, it still just looks incredible. Again, that 1080p resolution for an 11.5 inch screen makes it extremely sharp and a treat to look at. I did have to change the color temperature settings on the tablet itself to a colder setting, which made the display look and feel vibrant and crisp. So for about $200, I'd say this is one of the better bang for your buck drawing tablets currently on the market. And with the added portability and convenience the size of this tablet provides, I'm happy to say that I would recommend this tablet to those of you looking for a respectable first display tablet or as an upgrade from a non-display drawing tablet. Oh, and Gammon wanted me to mention that there is going to be a sale on the PD1161 happening from November 23rd to November 29th dropping the price down to about $170, which of course is really nice. So take a look at the links in the description for more on that if you are interested. But anyways, thank you so, so much for watching this review, and thank you to Gammon for sponsoring this video. Have a great day, everyone. This is Ty and Dega, signing out.